Now, you may remember WJZ reported on the NIH study which found a possible link between hair straightening chemicals and uterine cancer. The research prompted dozens of lawsuits across the country. Erlen Bowie talked to a beauty salon owner about how she makes sure her, her hair products are safe. And if you get your hair relaxed, one Maryland doctor says you, need, you don't need to panic. Sensitive scalp relaxer. It's a gentle formula. Deborah Wiggs Gaddy has been styling hair for 45 years and says she loves being able to transform women. People coming in wanting certain styles, showing you pictures, and then turn around and actually have what they ask for. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> the owner of Escape Hair Studio in Owings Mills says she's noticed a generational divide when it comes to hairstyles. Her younger clients prefer to stay natural. Her older clients get their hair relaxed. We just need to be sure that what we're using is professional and what's in the jar is going to be the best for the hair. An October study from the National Institutes of Health found hair straightening chemicals are associated with a higher risk for uterine cancer. The research showed black women may be more affected because they use hair straightening or relaxer products more frequently and tend to start at earlier ages. Dr. Elizabeth Nichols is a radiation oncologist and says uterine cancer is the fourth most common cancer affecting women in the U.S. When we actually look at the rates of uterine cancer in black women compared to white women, black patients are often diagnosed at a more advanced stage of uterine cancers compared to white patients. And when we also look at patients and compare them stage by stage, what we find is that black patients have decreased survival rates or lower cure rates compared to their white counterparts. In regard to the NIH study, Dr. Nichols says there is not one risk factor that causes uterine cancer. There are several risk factors. Even though the study showed an increased incidence, the overall numbers are still quite low. Other risk factors for patients can include over being overweight or having a low rate of physical activity. Um, and when we combine all these risk factors together, they really are what can cause um, a patient to have a higher risk or a lower risk of uterine cancers overall. Since the NIH study was released, dozens of lawsuits have been filed against cosmetic companies. One Harford County woman is suing L'Oreal and says regularly using their hair care products directly caused her uterine cancer. L'Oreal previously released a statement saying in part, quote, L'Oreal upholds the highest standards of safety for all its products. It kind of feels like it's an attack because, you know, it's only a certain group of people that kind of use the perms. Once I stopped, you know, getting perms, my hair started to flourish and get thick, and then now I'm able to wear it naturally. I don't want it no more. No more will I ever get a perm. The NIH research showed several chemicals found in straighteners, such as parabens, metals, and formaldehyde, could contribute to the increased risk. Gaddy says she makes sure she uses relaxers that are formaldehyde free, and she hopes there will be more research into the matter. Our job is to make you look good, <laughs> and, then, and believe it or not, stay healthy also. I'm sure that's going to save a lot of women that useful information. It's Hopefully it will, because it doesn't apply to me, but go women and make the right choices. How about that? <laughs> we'll come